All right, guys, Fitz back here for yet another cast here. Fitz signing in for another Brood War cast. And spawning here on the bottom left here for, uh, for our second series or second match in Group D of the round of 32 from the Shimmy Rush Week number one. It will be Sam Dragon Jumper here. Jumper has no stats of yet of the season, and he's actually been fairly inactive, at least for the I Cup. At least um, last time he was logged in, it was like July 24th or something, so it's been somewhat inactive, at least on the server. He might be playing on Fish, for all I know. Um, and the other thing to note is that I believe he was a, a, a was originally on Very Talented Veterans, or VTV. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the same Jumper or not, but um, I have to, I'm going to guess he's a pretty good guy. And he's from the United States, and his opponent will be also the United, uh, from, and also an American who is uh, Drywater here. Who's gonna be the Purple Terran? Um, this Purple Terran is gonna be a D plus, and that's pretty much all I know about the guy. So um, let's hope that we have a, a good PV, um, PVT action here. Now I don't know what Jumper's play is. Um, VTV, I believe, with a pretty high level clan as well. Um, I think they even ran some show matches and stuff like that, but uh, they also had like Joe Kim and stuff like that, who are you know amazing players in general. So um, Doty as well. So I mean, it's a pretty high level. This person's gonna have high practice mates. I just again, I don't know how active they jumper has been as of late. It must be school starting or something like that. But anyway, um, we have scouting pro from Jumper right here. He's gonna go in for for a um, gas field now. Does he do the same thing? What? Um, you know, I totally forget who did that, but um, a player did um, went for a gas deal, then went Nexus first, which made sense. Um, you know, it was it was the last game. God, I need to look it up because this is gonna bother me way too much than it's worth. But anyway, um, I right, let's figure this out. Who am I uploading right now? Uh, Fazek. Fazek. No wait. I'll mix these up. Let's see. And the upload. Anyway, um, yeah, Fozek was the one who did that. Uh, no, 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 Seed was the one who did that. He went, um, he went, um, he put down a, a simulator and then followed up with an expe expo. Um, because theoretically what you, what you normally see by that is, um, man, I'm trying to go edit stuff and do a cast at the same time. Yeah, I apologize for that. Anyway, let's get back to the cast, what's actually important here. Um... So, Jumper, again, while well, I'm all tabbing all the time, is going, let's see here, he's kind of following up with a, just the standard against Terran right here. And Terran's just kind of expand here, confident. Um, now, this would be the wrong choice if... Alright, uh, well, I mean, I guess that's all he can really do. Um, I guess he could try to go all in with like Marine SCV all in, which would be interesting. Um, if, if I got a gas deal, if someone was just, you know, and I was trying to play a standard game, I, what I would do is probably just do exactly what Drywater was doing. I personally would probably just grab all my SCVs and go for it uh, and see if that would work. Um, but he already has his, uh, side record done and it looks like it's just going to be a one gate expand, uh, anything else. Um, so we'll see if that goes down. So it's just going to be an econ style. The gas deal really wasn't there for any use other than delaying the gas for, for a while, maybe force an expo, maybe a potential for like a, like a two fact, he may have dry water went into this game thinking, who knows, I'll never know, unless we interview the guy, which would be pretty awesome actually, if I could interview players that were doing, actually uh, we have this idea, uh, me and, or, or Blitz, apparently is what we're called, because um, BMW wants to make it work too well, um, we have a proxy two gates coming out here, so actually, what this is actually going to three gate all in actually from and I actually kind of like this by uh, jumper right here it's a nice reaction, but um anyway let me talk about um blitz we want to do like blitz um a blitz show it's called like I Cup Blitz and apparently it, we're supposed to be doing like predictions and interviews and stuff like that so eventually when BMW gets back and eventually when I can get the overlays all set up we should have a weekly. TV show, maybe it runs an hour of just interviews and uh, stuff like that. So, anyway, um, that's that's the hope at least. I'm I'm trying to um, get in contact with my um, graphic design teacher, but um, not teacher, a uh, graphic design. I, I hire someone to do that for us. Um, 
so we'll, we'll have to find out. Anyway, we have two more facts coming up right now. Um, the thing is that this push is going to be coming really powerful because it's a proxy two gauge, so not only two two goons are going to be coming out really fast. Um, you also have the third one coming from the other, other side of the map here. And it looks like this expand might be dropping. I, I don't see that happening anytime soon, at least. Uh, three gates of goons is is a decent amount. Um, and if you end up going up to that, even if you're going up to that fourth gate right here, which you might even place down right here, if you do that, you can just start overrunning for uh, Terran. Um, I've done it before. And honestly, I, against the one barracks expand, I'm surprised why it's not really utilized that often. Um, because eventually you can just start doing so much DPS with with so many goons. Because there's no answer to this, so maybe a, a one barracks expand isn't always as safe. But um, I mean, he's trying to break down the store. I mean, it's really nice control by dry water here. He's even thinking of a second bunker just in case. He's actually very, very smart. Most players don't actually end up putting down a second bunker right there. Um, and he's just going to go for the SCVs, and this is exactly what I was talking about here. Um, does he throw down at the fourth gate? It doesn't appear so. Um, and he's just going to go walk right through. He's not even going to go for it. He may lose one or two of them. But look how fast these guys just do DPS. He's doing a lot of good damage right here. But those SCVs are actually making it really, really awesome because of the control. But now they're out of range. Now they can get the mineral line here. The tank is not out yet. He has he waited to get um, two machine shops here, so not even Vulture's going to be out here. He's going to be in the uh, He's going to be in the production. Right when those things come out, they're going to be dead. We still have to three gates right now, but still more than enough to really supplement this. And if you can see right here, he actually still has enough to put down another gate, another uh, more goons out if he'd like to. Um, as you can see, he's actually looks like he's going to be saving up for this. And also, we've got some awesome battle music going on right here, guys. Um, his control is actually not being too too well by Jumper right here. I think it could 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 be better. But, um, I mean, he's done some excellent damage being done. He's, and he's still at the front door, pressuring here. There's one Marine in there. That's not going to stop him from running in here. Two tanks might. Um, he just needs to wait for maybe another round. He's just, oh, no, he's just going to just try to um, macro out of this. I don't think he even needs to. And uh, did you see that? That, that? that just crushed that goon, and it didn't do any damage to him. I thought that was really funny. But again, he's in the production, and more as he's going to come up blind. I mean, at the same time, he's expanding. He has three gates down. He's putting down a robo. We can follow this up with Obstec. We can follow this up with Reaver Harass if we'd like to. Because he's, he's, he's not going to have... He's not going to be able to stop that. I mean, he's taking so much damage as it stands. The Reaver Drop would just be the end of the game here, which which might be follow-up if it can't completely end the game right now. I mean, how do you stop... You know, let's, Let me look at the Harvester tabs right here. 10 to 26 SCVs. I mean, 10 SCVs to 26 probes or harvesters, whatever you want to call them. Bunkers are done. He has siege tech. And again, if 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 Drywater is going to be a bitch and make it very difficult to push through, I mean, again, just Reaver drop him in. There's nothing he can do about it. And then all of a sudden you just win the game. Or you just take five bases and then you just win. But there's a GG anyway. I kind of like that before. He just had enough to just barrel his way through anyway. So. Great game by, first game by Jumper right here. Very quick game. A lot of these games have been fairly quick. Um, but uh, yeah, great game, guys. Uh, remember to comment, like, and subscribe if you like our videos. Tell your friends about us if you like them. And um, it's not going to be Blitz today. It's just going to be Fitz because uh, BMW is going to be on vacation for the next five days. So you, you pretty much got me for, for a whole group stage. Just hopefully we can get him back for the round of 16. All right, guys. Fitz signing out here. And uh, have a great day, guys. Peace.